Hello again, my sweet. Mm, you look astounding in that attire. I am truly glad you agreed to go out with me. I'm certain you will have an enjoyable evening. I will make sure of that. As per your request, I picked out a nice spot for a rendezvous. I have not been there in quite a while, but... I've heard it's still just as good as it used to be. Take my arm, if you wish. The carriage is waiting for us already. Hmm. I'm so relieved you agreed to this date. And I look forward to getting to know you better. I hope you will enjoy the venue I picked out for us. It is difficult to compare anything to your enchanting nature, but I made my best attempt to find a fitting place. I'm convinced it will suit you quite well. This will be our ride today. May I open the door for you? The establishment is not far, but I still hope you're not starving yet. Hmm. Is the sunset not just mesmerizing today? And the temperatures are so comfortably warm. If it does not cool down too quickly, we might get a chance to enjoy the restaurant's balcony at night. Catch a glance across the beautiful city and see the stars closer than ever. The view there is truly a delight. Almost as delightful as yourself, my dear. <laughs> oh, but remember, do tell me if I overstep. I would never want to make you feel uncomfortable, unsafe even. And you know I would never do anything without your consent. As much as you make me want to give up control, have you keep you all to myself. You should know I would never dare to make you feel uneasy on purpose. So please, feel free to tell me whenever I go too far or say too much. Since we do not know each other that well yet, I can only guess what does and does not bother you. And I have to rely on you Telling me. You understand that, right? It is in my vampiric nature to take what I crave without consideration. But I do not want that for you. You are not my possession, and I need you to know I do not want you as such. Not unless... That is what you want. You set the tone and pace. You and only you know what you need most. And I would never want you to feel like I control you or crave to decide over what happens to you. You, my dear, are your own person. And I respect you. I want you to feel that, too. You are more than just artwork to hang up and look at. More than a vending machine I throw money at to receive blood in exchange. You're not just a pet to keep in a cage all day. You are a person. A complex being with abilities, wishes needs and desires, with ideas and thoughts, boundaries and limits. So, do not shy away from using that beautiful mouth of yours in whatever way you see fit. Let me know what you want, what you crave, and especially when I make you feel uncomfortable. 
Such beauty like yours does not deserve to be broken. That spark in your eyes, your lovely expressions, should never be dulled. I could never forgive myself if I were the reason for you to lose that light. And I don't mean to make things awkward, but I know I can come across as intimidating sometimes. I have had people scream at me, run away from me. I've seen the terror in their eyes. They were horrified of me, simply because I am a vampire. You probably have no idea what that feels like, my dear. Many vampires are treated as monsters, so they stop trying to be good and simply give in. The world hears vampire and thinks demon. It is almost too easy to just give in, show people what they want and expect to see. Especially since we get treated the same either way. Why abide by laws of those weaker than you? Any human sent to prosecute a vampire is far outmatched, has no leverage. Why care about another life or the consequences of your actions when there are none? I never wanted to be like that. I never want to lose that last sliver of humanity that was still left within me. Far too many vampires my age have already lost all sense of compassion. Every sign that they were once human. I never want to forget who I was. What I have done. How far I've gone. Some things are best left unspoken, but should never be disregarded. I hope hearing me say these things does not scare you away. I promise you, I am not like that anymore. I too, like most immortals, had a phase when I thought I was invincible where another human life was worth barely more than that of an insect. I tried so long to become numb to it, to do as my mentor taught me, to become cold, kill without mercy. I wanted to be a vile murderer, to get over the things I had done, the things I'd seen. I wanted to lose myself, the guilt, the heartbreak. I wanted to become somebody I wasn't, and now look at me. Too scared to even reach out and touch you, because I'm worried you would flinch. Too scared to say a single word that might upset you. Constantly apologizing, hoping I did not mess up again this time. And I want you. I want to have you all to myself. I cannot bear this feeling of lusting for your blood. Wanting you just for your body. I wish I could tell you I love you like I have never loved a soul in my life before. I wish I could say I want you for who you truly are. But right now, I cannot. Not yet. <sighs> That is the true reason I wanted to have this date. 
not simply to have you make a choice, bring you to agree to my offer. I wanted you here so I can get to know you, so I could have a chance to fall in love with you for who you are. As much as love hurts, I would not want to keep you around just for your services. Just so you could provide me with blood, like some kind of domestic chicken, laying eggs every day and getting killed off once it's too old. I want you to be somebody special, somebody I can devote my life to, somebody that is more than a mere object. And I know by saying this I'm putting a lot of pressure on you, most of all, and I truly apologize. <clears throat> oh, I am rambling again. Pay no mind to my silly little stories. You did not come here so I could guilt you, force you to love me, or make you feel like it was your duty to make me love you. I simply wanted you to know what you were getting yourself into. It is not too late for me to bring you back home and forget any of this ever happened. You are free to leave at any point in time. I would never want to keep you against your will or make you feel forced to stay out of fear. <laughs> I promise I won't be this much of a downer for the rest of the evening You came to have fun after all Not to listen to stories about my life's regrets The past is the past And it is meant to stay there Shall we cheer up this gloomy conversation with some nice champagne? I bought both dry and a mild variation, as I did not know your preferences. And since you may not enjoy alcohol, I took it upon myself to provide a non-alcoholic alternative too. Which one is more to your liking? Oh, good choice. There you go. <laughs> it is absolutely delightful, is it not? So sweet and refreshing. I find it to be such a shame that vampires cannot get satisfied on human food alone. But I am glad we still get to enjoy their earthly taste and flavors. Oh, here we are. That was a lot quicker than I expected. Let me step out and open the door for you. Somebody as graceful as yourself should never have to lift a finger. <laughs> you do look quite strong. But you also look as though you should be spoiled and pampered. You deserve good things, my sweet. And I am here to grant you everything you may have ever wished for. This welcome lounge looks quite comfortable, does it not? The lifts are this way. This may be a bit of a longer ride as we are headed all the way to the top. I reserved a comfortable little corner booth with a Gorgeous view for us. Hmm. <laughs> You'll love it there. I'm certain you will. The view, the decor, the food. It is all absolutely delightful. This establishment is run by vampires who have had centuries to gather recipes and perfect their craft. So, I promise you, there is no better place to dine. 
These people know what they are doing and how to do it with style. I'm looking forward to the new things they have implemented since I visited. Don't worry, my dear. Even though most guests will be vampires, I will keep you safe. Make sure you do not get harmed. Most of them will be civil, though, as they, too, were once human. The establishment is also keen on having their guests be trustworthy and banning those who cause ruckus or do not know to behave themselves. Ah, the welcome hall, just as I remember it. Through this door is the VIP area. They used to have guards, but nowadays simply use these electronic key cards. Quite practical, is it not? <laughs> Back when I was still alive, the thought of dining in the sky and being let in by a machine sounded like bizarre devil's craft. How fast things change. Oh, let us talk about my human life another time, yes? Our booth is right over there by the window. Every time I come here, I am astonished all over again. This place never ceases to amaze me. Have a seat, my dear. To ensure utmost comfort and convenience, orders are made via touchscreen devices. Quite the handy trick, is it not? That way, you never have to worry about a waiter mishearing, being asked to order when you have yet to decide, or being forced to wait for somebody to pass by and notice you to request a refill of your drink. And the city lights, just after sunset, make for a great ambiance, do they not? Mm. You would not believe how happy I am to finally be here with you. Feeding on far inferior blood ever since I tasted yours felt like torture. But even this date will not promise me salvation, will it? An eternity together is a long time, far greater than any mortal could ever imagine. This is a difficult choice, my dear, especially regarding how fleeting even human relationships can be, how quickly people change their minds, Oh, you know, I would never want to keep you in a dungeon somewhere, simply to drain you of your luscious blood. I want you to live a fulfilling life, but no money in the world can substitute a good friend, a lover, even. I want you to be happy, my dear. I wish for you to live life to the fullest, and if that means I either have to suck it up and go on without you, so be it. I cannot keep living without your heavenly taste on my lips. Even these few days of having to be without it felt like, like blasphemy. Not once in my lifetime have I ever tasted blood as delicious as yours. And in my time, I have had more than enough samples. You truly are a miracle to me, my little lamb. But do not worry, you will not function as a light to moths drawing hungry vampires to you. Similar to humans, every undead has certain preferences. 
and you simply happen to fit mine perfectly so. The chance of another vampire cherishing your blood as I do is ever-present, but there is no need to be afraid that a horde of them will ambush you the second they notice your lovely scent. You will be safe with me, but how about you take a glance at the menu for now? Not much has changed since my last visit, but there still are a few interesting new food combinations. Here, this one sounds quite adventurous. I think I would like to give it a try. Once you have made up your mind, simply put your order into the machine. <laughs> I truly find it fascinating how quickly people are able to adapt to technical advancements. I suppose somebody like you, who has grown up in the age of smartphones and computers, does not question it much. Most of it, you probably don't even realize. Water from the tap, food from the fridge, electronic mail, floor heating. Oh, I'm getting lost in the past again. Yes, I suppose I did promise to tell you more about my living life. As uncomfortable as that topic is for me. Oh, don't worry. It is not that bad. I simply do not like getting stuck in days long gone. Tales of when the world, when I, was different. But, I suppose you deserve a little reminiscing in the past, seeing as I am already doing it without noticing. Not yet, though. After a few drinks, maybe then my tongue will loosen a bit. While we wait for our meals, shall we have a little trip to the balcony? If we wait for too long, it might get a little chilly outside. It is not far, either. We will easily notice when our food arrives. So, fancy a little stroll. I never get tired of the view. Does it not feel like being on top of the world? Oh, the stars. From up here, you can see them a lot better. Still, I can only imagine how beautiful they would have been this close before they faded due to pollution. They might have even been a sight to compare to you. <laughs> I'm only kidding, my dear. Even the stars would have envied you. The temperatures are perfect, are they not? So, replenishing. How are you enjoying this date so far, my dear? Be honest. Do I scare you? Does looking at me make your skin crawl? Does me being this close to you frighten you? Does the sudden change in my eyes terrify you. The thought that I could kill you in a moment's notice, the knowledge I could rip you apart with my bare hands, and knowing you would not be my first victim. Have you any idea what I am capable of? Do you 
you see the monster within me? The blood upon my hand? The torment? They say eyes are the windows to the soul. When you look into mine, can you see my lust? For you, can you see how dark a soul can become after hundreds of years of sacrifice, murder, and mortal pleasure? Most people consider themselves good. In a human lifespan, even the worst people can only do so much. It is nothing compared to what a good person can conjure up in an eternity. <sighs> Tell me, dear, is it fear or pity I see in your eyes? Oh, foolish of me. How could you possibly sympathize with a heartless demon? How could you know I would not lose control and drain you right here and now? Why is it that you have not run away from a being like me? Not quite yet an ancient evil, but close enough. Tell me, do you believe in redemption? cleansing of the soul? Do you believe any of my sins may ever be forgiven? <laughs> I believe I should step away for a moment. The last time we met, you probably did not think of me as a martyr. I did not mean to deceive you, but I have been plagued by nightmares ever since we met. Nightmares of hurting you. Memories of heartbreak. I believe that means you are important to me. Or maybe I am not ready to love again. Not yet. Now that you have seen this side of me, you can still only imagine what secrets I bear, what heinous deeds I have committed, and I wish for you to never have to face me when I lose myself again, find out what I've done, what I am truly capable of. I am worried about getting lost in the pleasure of you. Your taste. The sensation. Oh. How much I want to say I love you. And how much it pains me that I cannot. But despite the fear, the worry, the agony, I feel as though I need you. I simply have to have you. You must be mine. I want you. No. I need you, please, I, I apologize, my dear, I overstepped again, it appears, unless by some miracle, you have a preference for broken people, I just played my only chance. <laughs> How very rude of me. 
So much fresh air out here, yet no space left for you to breathe. I will step away for a moment, let both of us cool off. If we keep going like this, Lord knows where it might lead us. Me either kissing you or otherwise giving in to my primal urges. What are you? What are you looking at me like that for? It almost seems as though you want to... <laughs> You One day You will make me lose my mind Kisses taste divine, but you are really testing me with this. I do not have the mental strength in me to resist the urges much longer. Enough. Enough for now. <laughs> I promised you I would not be such a downer earlier, didn't I? Normally, I am much better at keeping my promises, my dear. How can I make it up to you? Oh, there is one thing I can think of that you might enjoy something that is more than just me paying you to forgive me. There is a vampire festivity in a castle by the coast next month. A grand tradition. A masquerade dance of high society vampires. More and more are invited each year as the circle grows steadily. It used to be an all-private event for only elder vampires, but eventually they open the doors to their disciples and friends. Nowadays, even humans are allowed in certain cases, since some attendants wish to bring their mortal partners along. It would be a grand fest, and I would, of course, have some fitting clothes and a mask made for you, after your personal wishes. Would that be of interest to you? Another date, more people around, so you may enjoy different company whenever I become too much to handle. And the utmost delicious buffet and snack bar. A beautiful hotel by the beach. A relaxing vacation. And a delightful dance. You will, of course, have your own room and all the freedom you wish. Does that sound promising? <laughs> I am beyond glad to hear that. Maybe we even run into some old friends of mine, and I could introduce you to some vampires there. If you wish. Oh, but for now, my dear, it seems as though our food has arrived. Let us get back inside.